Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to my art channel Tata Dada Art Club and 100 days of sketching challenge. Yes, and today is we are gonna do the sketching on the flowers and today is the 77 day of my sketching challenge. Yes guys, so what the flower is there today and what we are gonna do, uh, it will be, will be revealed in just for few seconds. Hey guys, welcome back and this is Vijay here. I do share a lot of drawing and sketching tips on this channel regularly and today also I am going to do the same thing with the flowers. Yes, normally people draw the flowers by following the outlines, negative space, that is the one of the way. But same time, today I am going to explain in a detail how we can draw the flowers following with the perspective and as well as seeing the uh, 3d solid forms into each and every petals also so i'm going to do that in today's session and we thoroughly will understand how we can follow and same time i'm going to do a little sketching with the color pencil today yes guys so as i said that uh, we can do a lot of learning here so let's go to the board and start our today's session but before that if you are new for my channel please subscribe my channel and press notification bell icon so you will get all update about upcoming videos and events yes guys so let's go to the board and see what the reference we have and yes this is what the wonderful uh, flower we have and that is also in a bit perspective top angle yes most of the photographs you have to click a little bit on the top to just get the entire flower nicely and again i will thank for the uh, photographer or the whoever had the right for this image i'm just using here for the reference purpose and yeah you can start the today's sketching okay so as i said that that is the uh, top angle we can see here uh, in this and uh, there's a lot of petals are uh, there which can be uh, uh, very difficult to uh, draw who are like a uh, beginners or uh, to understand their three dimensionality it will be difficult but I'm gonna try to make very simple and I'm gonna show you step by step how we can see the each and every a petal and the solid forms into that so as i can see the 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 flower is not exactly straight it is a little diagonally in this way that's one of the part and i can start from the center part which is i can see this oval and as a solid form i can see this is the cuboid is there and that cuboid can be converted into the cylinder which is something like this and now one by one we'll follow the petals so this is the side petals it's similar the uh, curvature what the flower has it's same way gonna these round it is gonna follow and there is a bit dark portion as well as the opposite side petals also you can see so this portion will be a bit dark so yes that way we uh, done this 
bit of it which is the again center what I'm connecting here and after that I can see the circle of second petal which is starting from this line and yes so this way the the ellipse shapes I can see from the top angle and again it is connecting to here yes so it's a bit little from down and it is here also there is more roundity here also there is little more roundity and you can see this proper shape of this petal here so if I follow these lines which is again curvature of that petal so three dimensionally this is the way it is there and one by one you can just simply follow the patterns there so what I'm doing, I'm just starting from this petal here one. But inside that there is a small another petals are there that we can follow. Then there is a gap. And this is the another petal but it has a little fold here that we can observe. So you will get this basic three dimensional structure right. So it will be very easy for you to draw these all stuffs. Yes definitely there are some of the petals can be little shortened or little bend inside because it's a nature natural things so it's there's definitely the variation will be there but overall the structure what I can see that you can follow that way so I'm coming to this side petal here which is you can see this portion as well as you can see this is the inside portion and now here what I am coming to the uh, petal which is in the foreground So yes, you can see a little bit gap in between there also. Then I'm coming to here, which is again this petal is going this way. Exactly the curvature what following and you can see the little bit part of inside. Again, I'll come to this portion which is a very clear simply following the oral outline what we followed yes and here there is another petal which is inside the round of this So you can see this outer portion and this is the inside portion. 
plus now there is a big gap in between there but here there is one more petal I can see it and on this this is the nice petal here so this way we completed with the one round of petal here or the one circle of petal here now if I draw one more circle from here which can be this way so again what I am saying like if I see the this is top then again there is a round again there is a round and then again there is round that way we are just moving outside from this and as we go here will be the you can see more top angle petals here So I'll erase might be we want to draw here so I'll just clear this now I can see in between this two petals there is a petal which is So again I'll draw these lines of dimension which will help me to draw nicely. Here again there is one more petal you can see little bit portion of this and I'll come to this foreground portion here first so so these petals are quite four shortening petals are there So one is here also
again I form this curvature here so going inside and again you can see nice white lines on that which show the curvature of each and every petal If you see that this is the combination here, so do a little big petal is in the background. Here also there is this petal. Again between these two there is one big one which is covering almost this area and again one more is it's coming here So this way you are just following the dimension as I said that this roundity and because of this roundity you come to know the petals, how the petals are. If you come more down so you can just see this portion if you come more down so you can see this portion and this kind of folds of the petals and if you come more down so it will be petal something like this. So that three dimensionality has to be understood nicely and you can follow that way very good. Okay, so we reach here and as I said that this petal on this so again with this I am covering this line which is this one So these are the in the lines, this is again the lines and here somewhere this curvature line should be. So we will come to his this portion which is from again this line and little curvature here in this direction and you can see this curve what I'm talking about then on that only there is this one another one this is also flowing and it is overlapping here
and from there this is another petal Now this side also if I see that it is petal from here it is starting in this direction and small portion which can be seen here again the this way the petal is here so now this round is complete here again I'll coming to this part so this one this one and this one okay Yes, so above I'll just draw some of these when I'm just following the lines now here I can see the petals here and then here Now from this there is a one round, one more round started. And again going to this curvature I guess so. So we'll follow one by one. This can be short. So yes, it is quite complicated, but if you go straight following uh, this way, it will be very helpful to understand the dimensions and all. So I can see now here the down petal which is the center line from here it is starting Same with this side. Yeah. 
here and between these two there is one more petal is coming here This we can just add more petals to this portion. We'll come back to this now. From here also the big petal is drawn here. So this way we are just keep adding, keep adding but now you must have observed that after that there is the uh, you can see the back side of the petals and slowly slowly you can see the top of that petal so this petal is going down so this is the petal and behind that there is one more petal from that this is quite a big shape you can see now here and here also so this is a little diagonal angle that petal is and you can see very bit part of this so dimension and here also this is the curvature and you can see here there is a nice shadows is falling down the highlight and shadows nice that is also very nice
these are quite simple so you can see it from top angle Yes guys, so this way we just completed that thing and now if I am observing, so this is the area which is again round, has to be proper. So I can just extend these lines properly, little bit more petals. So the roundity will be maintained nicely. Yes, now there's no, I don't know, I can't see in the reference that there is anywhere the stem is. But this way we completed the entire sketch. And yes, if you want to do color, we have to lighten up a little bit. And very quickly overall I'll just show the how that colors can be. So I start with this uh, most darkest portion. keeping the white gap here in between and making these lines as per the curvature but before that I'll just use some of these yellow lines which you can see there
and over here this petal also So very light lines we have to keep is not exactly white but it is the pink shade only very lighter portion you can see it and yes definitely there is this yellow is there But the percentage wise yellow is very less but you can just give the overall feel of that and you can just later you can make a darken because I can see everywhere this is in this side and the yellow is prominently can be seen. But we'll go uh, step by step or the petal to petal. Let me now here also it's a similar way. So again I'll tell that if you know the uh, dimension or three dimensionality into that you can easily capture these things and it will help you to do the proper shading
So this way you keep adding and if you observe that this is the more portion of the yellows but the rest of is more or less the pink color it is there. In very rare uh, spaces there, there is the uh, yellow color. So just to show that very quickly I will just make these all wherever this required spaces I will just keep the highlight. and I'll make the entire thing which is the again pink Yes, you can go overall uh, one tone and then keep adding the darker tone. That is one of the method which I generally prefer. And there is another way which like you can, the way I started first, which is just to uh, start each and every petal one by one. You can finish with the light and shade. That is also you can do it. Yes, but the real feel of the color pencil which is getting these kind of textures into that personally feel. So this way I just made the entire petal which is the pink which is more tone of this after this. And after that I'll just add some of this.
yes it is a quite long time taking process but yes
Yes, this shadow is only created a nice drama which has to be properly, more properly done with the proper timing and all. Yes, guys so that way is the uh, the flower I guess which is very nice and I'll just use some of the green shades for the outer side Yes guys, so I feel that is great enough to do a sketching and we took a lot of time today is the almost one and a half hour we are doing this sketching. It can't be called sketching, it will be quite detailed drawing but yes I would like to give as much as possible so whatever I am learning I would like to share yes guys so that was the sketch for today and it's a wonderful sketch it took a lot of time and my patience i prefer most of the time the watercolor because you very quickly get the results but yes the different different medium has their unique qualities and you should follow that so you must have seen that now it's a wonderful flower and nice shading we did with Yes, so see you tomorrow with the more such kind of sketchings and uh, I will hope you like it, you will comment it and let me know how much you liked it, how you liked it and till the time keep practicing, keep watching videos, keep sharing videos and yes keep smiling too.